Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and guys, today again I have come up with a very amazing problem. It's a little uh, different type of problem and it's the original one. So guys, this video is brought to you by uh, Indian School of Physics and uh, Unacademy together. And name of this problem is Strange Oscillations of uh, Shell with the Liquid. So my upcoming courses uh, uh, will be on Modern Physics, Fluid, Gravitation, Waves and Thermodynamics. However, guys, I have decided to take complete gravitation in the free classes. All right, uh, for J mains and advanced. Tomorrow onwards, these classes will start and I'll be updating the schedule of these classes in my community post. So please uh, tune in for that. And I'll be taking entire topic instead of uh, taking one by one uh, classes. Entire topic I'll be covering in this. And you can uh, uh, use my code to unlock these uh, uh, free classes uh, that the code is Nitin sir and uh, yes physics will never be the same again for more information you can visit uh, www.unacademy.com so here is the statement of uh, this problem a highly conducting spherical shell of mass m and radius r is having water of same mass m the shell is connected to two identical massless spring of uh, spring constant k with the help of a massless ring support always lying in its equatorial uh, plane so guys i'm talking about this ring so it remains in uh, uh, equatorial plane all the time the two sides of atmosphere of uh, shell is having different temperature and it can be assumed that the conversion of water into ice and vice versa is almost in instantaneous it is also given that the size of the shell is small and the velocity of center of mass is very high near the equilibrium position uh, and the amplitude of oscillations uh, are very very large compared to uh, radius r what will be the time period of such oscillation so here uh, the main part is uh, uh, to understand that if the shell goes towards left since temperature of atmosphere is 90 degree and the shell is highly conducting uh, there will be water present inside the shell in this situation and water will be in pure translation assuming the negligible uh, viscosity of water similarly when i displace it towards the right now temperature of atmosphere is minus 90 degrees centigrade and, and if shell is highly conducting uh, then the entire liquid will uh, freezes instantaneously it is given to us in the problem so for this part the frozen ice will behave like a solid sphere all right and uh, it is also given that the size of the shell is very very small so if this uh, see i'll tell you why it is given that if the size is uh, negligible and the velocity of center of mass is very high near this uh, equilibrium point so very quickly i can assume that almost that entire volume of water freezes to ice uh, together or uh, at the same time i can assume that the entire liquid converts from ice to water together this is the meaning of uh, this problem let's proceed so concept wise uh, guys i will be using this method of shm you can check in my previous videos this method is very very handy and uh, very fast compared to other methods in most of the problems so instead of applying general energy equation and differentiating it with respect to time i will directly write k max is equal to u max and uh, i can calculate i can calculate the angular frequency of shm in this case also i'll be using a very famous uh, result that if a body is in pure uh, rolling and its icm is given as uh, lambda r square and lambda mr square and its vcm is r omega so i can write its uh, kinetic energy as translational plus rotational kinetic energy so when i simplify this k total comes as a half lambda plus one m vcm square so I'll be using this result. Let's say when system is displaced towards left from the main position, the the water inside the uh, water inside the shell will be in pure translation. So when I'm writing kinetic energy, I'll be writing k max is equal to u max. So kinetic energy will be due to the shell and due to the liquid. All right, it will it is going to be kinetic energy of the shell 
and kinetic energy of the liquid in this case so here and that will be equal to potential energy stored in the springs so uh, here i can write the kinetic energy of the shell is half mvcm square plus half icm omega square and kinetic energy of liquid i can write half mv square all right i can write this as half mv not uh, v max whole square and that should be equal to double of half k a1 square where a1 is the amplitude and uh, half k a1 square is the energy stored in one of the spring both the springs are identical equal uh, extension will be present so i can say in this situation that uh, the total uh, potential energy is double of one potential energy so this half 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 gets cancelled and uh, uh, this value i can write half lambda plus 1 so half 2 by 3 plus 1 mvcm square plus half mvcm square and that is equal to 2 into half k1 square when i simplify this i get this v max as root of 3k by 4m times a1 so if i compare this result with v max is equal to a omega where a1 is the amplitude of uh, oscillation so this is going to be the omega 1 for the left part root of 3k by 4m similarly i can do the same thing here when system is displaced towards the right the water freezes almost instantly and it behaves like a solid sphere so when i apply the same logic again k max is equal to u max here kinetic energy will be due to the shell and due to the ice that water has converted into ice and that should be equal to energy stored in the springs so this time uh, the shell also and the ice which has be, uh, which has become a solid sphere both will be in uh, pure rolling so now i can write half v max uh, whole square plus half icm uh, omega square for shell and half v max mv max square plus half icm omega max square for uh, ice and that should be equal to 2 times half k a2 square when i simplify this i can write this value as half lambda plus 1 mvcm square where uh, lambda value is 2 by 3 for the shell and it is 2 by 5 for the solid sphere when i simplify these uh, equations i am going to get here that v max is equal to root of 15k by 23m times a2 this is the omega of uh, the rightward motion here all right so this omega 2 is also known to me now i can write the overall time period is uh, nothing but time for left part and time for right part so this part it is going to be so suppose it goes like this and it comes back to the original position again so this time is going to be total time period by 2 for the left part and that is going to be pi times root of 4k uh, 4m by 3k similarly i can write for this right part the time from here to here it is the uh, half of the complete shm so which is going to be pi times under root of 23m by 15k so this is going to be the time period of this system i hope guys this is clear to you it's a very smart problem and uh, if you use this k max is equal to u max it becomes very simple and you can do the fast calculations so guys if you have enjoyed this solution and this uh, problem please leave a like share this video with others and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it uh, already i'll be coming up very soon with another amazing video thanks for watching it